were going to say something, General? I know you can't read or write, but I understand you know how to speak. Look at yourself, Pancho. Now you look like the convict you are. Not a soldier. Never a soldier. A cheap bandit who will die in a cage tomorrow in Mexico City. Taking us. Fine. Let them overtake us. But by the time they catch us, we'll be inside our own lines. Vidya. Go in and shoot him. happened to you? The razor slip? Anybody else make one more joke and I'll kill him. Get me out of here. Guyard! Anyway, Samson, I need a haircut. You know, I look more interesting this way, you know? More intelligent. Like a professor. Yeah, yeah, you're gonna appeal to a different class of woman now. I am? Yeah, more, um... Delicate, refined, dainty. Well, how am I going to meet these kind of women? Well, uh, maybe you better keep your hat on. Andale con la revolución. Running out of ammunition, General. We need money. My beggars. Ah, Durango. We taught him a lesson in Durango, didn't we? They will forget that one. <laughs> that was over two years ago, Pancho. <laughs> What's the matter? Don't you like the show? Yes, General. I like it the first three times, too. Well, good. You sit down and you like it again, huh? Yes. <laughs> oh, 
that guy up. You were so sure you were going to finish him off that time. Someday. He'll fall into my hands, you'll see. Ah, that's me. That's when I was living in the palace in Mexico City. <laughs> you know they wanted me to be president. <laughs> the money. When do we get the money? <laughs> Come on. Let them enjoy the moving picture. Where are you going? The gringo has an appointment with the general. The general's busy. He must wait. Tell V. I'm a busy man myself. I have guns to sell. He'll see me. Right now. You have the guns? You have the money? You'll get the money. You'll get the guns. No thanks. <laughs> Come on then. Fire! Fire on. You tell him what you have to sell, huh? Three hundred Lee Enfield rifles, six light oh, machine no. guns, thirty. Just tell him how much it will cost. Thirty thousand dollars, cash. Thirty-five thousand dollars cash. Now we're not asking you to give us the money for the minigas alone, and your loan will be guaranteed. Guaranteed by whom? By the revolution. And that is me. What is your collateral? What is this collateral? Stocks, bonds, real estate. Ah, gracias. Mm -hmm. Oh, Scotty. Would you show them the collateral? Got your money. Fine. You can pick up the guns in Columbus. McDermott? You'll find him in the restroom. Scotty. What brings you over the border, Scotty? Business. Don't let us keep you. I'll see you later. Sit down, Scotty. You two should know each other. Yes, we have met before. Where's my merchandise? There's a slight problem. It seems Mr. McDermott sold us both the same shipment. I paid for mine in advance. So did I. Now let me explain. Well, make it short. 
There's only one carload of guns. Sure, I sold it twice, but you guys were both on my back. Now, why don't you divide it between you? I divide nothing. Pancho Villa will not get a single bullet while I am in Columbus. Comprende, gringo? Comprendo, hombre. You'll suck the bottom off that glass. You want another soda, I'll buy you one. What's eating, Lieutenant? We're planning on spending the evening together. Do you mind? Oh. Well, as a matter of fact, I do mind. I mean, Flo is my wife. How would you like it if I spent the evening with your wife? And if you weren't so cheap, you'd get married instead of running around with another man's wife. That isn't funny, Scotty. I don't find you amusing either. Who asked you? I value his opinion. About me? Why don't you divorce him, Flo? I'll pay for the lawyer. And lose my widow's pension, I have my future to think about. I'll marry you, Flo. I already married one soldier. Sailor? Soldier, sailor. It hasn't been that bad. Well, it hasn't been that good. Oh, be fair, Flo. We had our moments. I'm not so sure. Davenport, Iowa? Hmm. Chicago. Yeah. Niagara Falls. That was something. Uh, it was more than that. <laughs> what the hell's going on here? This is my day with Flo. We're going to be late for the movies. Will it be? Two forty-five calibers. Spending the night in town? Columbus Hotel, second floor, room four. I'm in room five. Well, isn't that nice? We're neighbors. Where are the guns? As soon as you two settle your quarrel, the cheaper by the box. I think two will be enough. Come in. It's open. Sit down. I didn't exactly come to talk. That's all you're getting. Sit down. You look lousy, Scotty. Well, everybody doesn't cook like you do. What is it with you and Via? We're in business together. Business? <laughs> Bandits, that's what you are. Oh, oh, that hurts. Seriously, Scotty. What took you away from me? Right, mister. It was self-defense. You have five minutes to ride out of Columbus. The guns, McDermott. All of them. Where's your... Where's your wagons? The wagons are waiting. Now, come on.
Get him! He's going into the car! After him, man! I don't see him! He must be around here! I go the other way. You see him? He's disappeared. Like hell! He's here. He's got to be here somewhere. Greetings from General Goyo. Did you bring the gold? Gold? It seems to me that Pancho Villa is still very much alive. General Goyo couldn't kill Villa in ten years. If you want us to do it, it's going to cost you. Goyo is hoping for results. First installment. Tell General Goyo that Pancho Villa is as good as dead. Are you two? I am the pharmacist. He works in the stable. Oh. Strange. Where's the pharmacy? I never saw one in this town. There isn't any. Hey, you two! Pero luego vino lo peor. Lo que pasó con mis hijos mayores y con los pequeños, señor. Dos años, tres años y seis meses, señor. Ay, señor. Get her out of here. She's breaking my heart. Next. Your father was sent to Flores. 
Si, Your Excellency. And he was the Minister of Foreign Affairs for Goyo. General Goyo is my godfather. Huh. Next. And who is your father? Nobody knows me, General. Not even my mother. Let me see your hands. Oh, you work hard, huh? See me, General, on the land. A peon. See. Si. Mm -hmm. yeah. And you make war on your brothers. Next. <coughs> Let her go. Let her go! Well, tell me, Ika, what do you want of me? Justice. Who would be unjust to so beautiful a child? I was dishonored. <gasps> you mean... You mean one of my soldiers? One of your soldiers. He promised to marry me. I gave myself to him. Completely. And then what happened? He left. Like that. I was abandoned. And what do you want me to do? Punish him. Oh, senorita. <laughs> if I had to punish every soldier who promised to marry a girl and didn't, then I would have no army to fight with. Next. Then you are a hypocrite. And the revolution you preach is a pack of lies. Get a priest. No guns? That's right. No guns. Not even your own, huh? The gringos, they cheated you. And murdered my men. I should know better than to do business with the gringos. It's in the blood. You can't trust any of them. Believe that talk, you little brat. You saying I was part of it? How do we know? yourself a new wife, huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, I'm going back for your money and take care of Mr. McDonald. Oh, oh. Uh, the trouble with you, Scotty, is you're a cheap bandit and you think like one. Hands up. Put your watches and your wallets and your rings into the hat, huh? Uh, and how would you solve the problem, General? The, uh, he's going to cross the border into the United States. And he's going to pay them back for every time these gringo armies, they cross into Mexico. And then on the way, we go by Columbus, and we visit McDermott, you see? So how does that differ from what I already said? It reads different in the newspapers. It's not Villa on a bandit raid, but General Villa making war. Uh, uh, who can sleep here? Hey, Loopy! Scotty! So I found you. Hijo de pera. So you are the dog who decided all... Pancho, oh. I want him hanged. I want him hanged. No, no. Sabes, sabes que me hizo? Me dejó abandonada sin decirme adiós. You como si yo no nadie. Pancho, tienes que matar a esa cucaracha. You pig! 
Now, when we cross the border, what can we expect to find? There's an army garrison right about there. And I'm worried about their commanding officer, Colonel Wilcox. Why should you be worried about him? Because he's got nerves of iron and rocks in his head. dead by now. Every last one of you. Now I say you're going to learn to crawl under that wire if it kills you. Live ammunition. Live? We're loading live ammunition. This time if you raise your butt, it gets shot off. If you raise your head, you'll never know what hit you. Now, get up and go back to the starting point. More mud! A badly trained army loses battle, Sergeant. It suffers unnecessary casualties. You know what I'm doing? Saving their lives. Move out! I didn't tell you to stop firing, Sergeant. 30 days in a guardhouse for that nervous Nelly. Maybe it'll calm him down. All right, Sergeant. Resume firing. I think we ought to wait till it gets dark before we cross the border. You know, you act as if we're invading some little Pueblo. We're invading the United States, remember? Now after dark, how is it for you? No pictures! Huh? Right. I still say we wait. We cross now while it's still light. in the other direction. What are they doing over here? I ain't had a drop, Sarge, I swear. There's a whole Mexican army coming straight at us. All right, Evans. You just saddle up a pink elephant and go chase him away. What did he say? The young up. Gringos! Come, surrender. To who? I am Pacho Villa. You surrender, I'll cut your ears off.
I've been thinking, Sarge. Evans is a teetotaler. He don't drink liquor. He don't? Not a drop. Papowski, you ought to get word of this to the colonel. Attention! See it, Captain? It's your responsibility, Doctor. Medical hygiene. I'll get it, Colonel. What the hell? You missed it. Get that damn fly! That's an order! He's here! For Colonel Wilcox. Up there on the light bulb. He got him! Yes! Here, here! The nets! Get the nets! I think the colonel's off his nut. Man, attention! I heard that, Lieutenant. You think your colonel is off his nut, hmm? hmm? Is that what you're all thinking? Well, hear this, men. I'm going to give it to you loud and clear. A fly in the soup is dirt. A dirty army is a sloppy army. A sloppy army loses battles. You know what I'm doing? Saving your life. There he is again. Get him. Don't move, Major. Get him! There he goes! That's an order! Miguel, blow the hall! Miguel, I said, blow the hall! It is Pancho Feast. Well, tell him to get out of the way. We're in a hurry. Don't be so rude, Clara. We can wait for the gentleman. Nonsense, you, Dora. These people have to be kept in their place. <laughs> the latest model, huh? If she's a travel <laughs> Out of the way. Vamoose. Vamoose? <laughs> Do you think Pancho Villa is a Mexican bandit? You think I will eat you? I can think of better things to do. Hold it. Otra. 
Maybe you better ride down to post B and see why those two slobs don't answer. You there, soldier. What's your name? Popowski, sir. You're the tailor, aren't you? No, sir. I could have sworn you were the tailor. No, sir. Where are you going? Down to post B on the border, sir. They phoned in a while back. That is Private Evans' phone. Sergeant White bawled him out. But I know for a fact, sir. Evans is a teetotaler. Fine, fine. You make a report on it. But first, you get over to my quarters and ask Mrs. Wilcox for the pressing iron. You know what a pressing iron is, don't you? Yes, sir. Fine. I want you to put a crease in those breeches so sharp it'll cut bacon. You understand? Uh, yes, sir. But, sir, Private Evans phoned in from Post B You're on the You're repeating yourself, Popowski. Now hop to it, soldier. We want the team to look good for the big horse show, don't we? Yes, sir. We can't all be in the glory seat, son. Some of us have to do our part. Just pressy pants, right? Yes, sir. Well, you take care of the pans, and we'll take care of the horse. Now hop to it on the double. March. It's that crackpot Confederate general again. Dear General Jenkins, General Jenkins, Army of the Confederacy, retired. Look here, General. If some Mexican stole Miss Clara's automobile, you report it to the police. This is the Army. The Mexicans run the warpath. Stole Miss Clara's new automobile. Will you tell Miss Clara? I'm very busy. I can't spare the United States Army to look for her tin Lizzie. Listen to me, you chicken colonel. You're talking to a general, and I'm telling you they're all attacking over at Weaver Ranch. Miss Clara is there right now. You send a troop of cavalry over there and take a bus surprise. Yes, young man? Did you finish? It's by Jovia. The train hasn't left yet. Phone the railroad station. Get me Colonel Wilcox. The line is dead. Close the gate! This is Scotty with Pancho Villa. I want to talk to your commanding officer. You need the range, viejo? Does an eagle need eyeglasses? Get ready to fire, old man. Surrender. To you, Scotty? Never. Listen, eager. It's hopeless. You got 20 to 1 against you. I don't care if it's 100 to 1. I'm not going down in history as the first United States officer to lose a battle to a foreign invader. Are you coming? I came after McDermott. Uh... Viejo, es para hoy.
Lock them up. You were going 25 miles an hour down Main Street. And you, I told you to get out of town, Scotty. Sheriff, do yourself a favor. Turn around and look at what's coming down the street. Muchachos, nobody leaves town, nobody, comprende? Vamos, vamos. McDermott? Hey, Colonel! Is one of these guys McDermott? Nah, it's not them. Let him go, let him go. Watch out. Hey, hey, hey. No. It's okay. Vamanos. Beg your pardon. Hold it. Fighting and killing in the house of the Lord. Pancho, why don't you go be a general? Oh, you want to be alone, huh? Yeah. I warned you looters would be shot, didn't I? Pancho, why don't we hold up a train? Shut up! Thank you. 
What time does the next train get in? There's an oh. afternoon special at 3.30. What kind of a train? Any passengers on it? No passengers. It's a special from Washington for some Mexican general. For who? General Goyo. Special train taking him back to Mexico City. A special train in Goyo's honor. And it's stopping here. Stops for ten minutes. Oh. oh that's long enough. Oh, gracias adios, my prayers are answered. <laughs> <coughs> No, 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 Murders! Thieves! Destroyers! Blasphemy. Father, no, Murder. Father, and more father, than this, father, destroying father, my father, furniture. That lot of Protestants! Hey, you know what I found out? There's a train coming here at 3.30. It's got guns on it. Yeah? Well, we haven't got time to wait. We gotta get back across that border and fast. But we need the supplies! What do you want? The whole U.S. Army on our backs? Yeah. Anyway, I'm hungry. And besides, I bet you know the best place in town to eat, eh, Padre? Scoundrel! <laughs> padre, forgive me. Flown. How? The window. Hombre! 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 Crazy. She's delicate, refined, and dainty. <laughs> Remember? I must be a type, Carol. Now, Pancho, she's my wife. She is? She is. Oh, you must be some kind of a loco to leave a woman like that alone. Mm -hmm. Problems? Yeah. We hate each other. Well, you cannot keep the poison inside. You must, uh, you must talk it out. Come. Mm -hmm. Pass this all. Well, maybe if you said please. You know, in marriage sometimes, it's better to think back to the beginning. Now, Flo, when you first met. He seduced me. <gasps> it was a setup. She trapped me. I trapped you. I walk in her house. Bang, the doors locked, the lights went out. I never had a chance. Well, perhaps the second day will be better. Now think about what happened. He seduced me again. Oh, uh, I'm going to tell you something. That's lies. This I got to tell you. Please, 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 let him talk. 
This time it's a different house. It's her Uncle Joe's. Uncle Frank. Oh, all right, Uncle Frank's. I walk in the house. Bang, the door locks, the lights go out. I never had a chance. Well, perhaps that was too far back. Uh, now, when he proposed, uh, let's talk about that. I never proposed. I never accepted. Well, you are, you are married. How did it happen? I'll tell you how it happened. Never mind. I'll tell him myself. Oh, I know how you ridiculous. twist things around. You turned on the no, lights and you locked the please, doors. it's his turn, my darling. We're back at her house again. I walk in the house, bang, the doors lock, the lights what go out. What kind of a story is that, for heaven's oh. sake? He locked the doors, he turned out the lights, he's the one who did the whole damn thing! I can't get a word Was there never a time when you two did not hate each other? No. How about the night of the honeymoon? That's a night to remember. Yeah, I carried her across the threshold. Guess what happened? Oh, yes. Uh, bang. The door locked, and the lights went out, and... <laughs> what? I've got a pain. What do you mean, pain? Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. It's... It... What kind oh, of Oh, it's my heart. Oh, please, gotta get it, doctor. Oh, hey, what kind of a what is it? Work? Who did Oh, this? it's moving. <laughs> Scotty, save me. Let's get him up to his room. Oh, oh. 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 Now, where does it hurt? Oh, it hurts here and here and here in the front and the back. It's his heart, all right. Please, Pancho. <laughs> Outside. Outside, everybody. Amigo. Pancho. Adios. <laughs> Scotty, you stay. My last words are for you, Scotty. Oh, you're not gonna die, Pancho. Don't argue with him. <laughs> Would I die? I want you to do something for me. Promise. Sure, you just name it. You killed Goyo for me. Goyo? Where am I going to find Goyo? You'll find him in soon. Promise. <laughs> promise. Anything, uh -huh. anything. Promise him anything. I, I promise, I promise. Amigo. She loves you, Scotty. And when I'm gone, I... I want you to be a good husband. After you kill Goyo. It hurts bad. Oh, it can't last much longer, Scotty. <laughs> It's that American lieutenant. He got away. We chased him. He will go to warn the American army. Well, we better get ready to move out of here. You sent for a doctor? See, si. Get the men ready. You tell me the truth, doctor. How long? It's his heart? Of course it's his heart. You listen. 
forgive me. Two hearts? Uh, Is that possible? Uh. Hey, wait a minute, Doc. You're not going to operate not here. No, we have to have boiling water. Oh. He don't need a doctor. He needs a change of underwear. What he needs is a breath of fresh air. I've been busy changing a government doctor. No time to change the underwear. If you whisper a word of this to anybody. Professional secret. The oath of Hippocrates. Remember. Your army's waiting. Shall I tell them you, uh, had a miraculous recovery? No. Tell them nothing, let them think I'm dead. We got rid of a lizard. Who knows, maybe we'll find a couple of cucarachas. <laughs> How is he, doctor? Hmm. I don't understand. You'll see. But if he dies, we won't collect. That was the deal. Sure. Not if he dies of a heart attack. We'll only get paid if we kill him. Go. Go. But he's already dead. If he's found with a knife in him, Goyo will be told he was stabbed to death. He's not cold yet. Maybe... What time is it?
Kaya, where is he? There he is. It happened in Washington two days ago. A stroke. We are bringing his body back to Mexico. Oh, no, no, no. It couldn't be. It was the will of God. Dead, what do I have to live for? Who decided that you were a hero, Goyo? Huh? Who decided that he was a hero, eh? run sneaks. They never give you an honest battle. You know, my only fear is they'll slink away before we get a chance to fight. If only just once we could meet them head on. Pancho. Pancho. Look what I found. Pancho. Here, here in the United States, they must feed their turkeys on ice cream and bananas. <laughs> feel it, feel it, how fat, feel it. Oh. Hey, Pancho, we gotta get going. Come on. Go where? Go back. All I know is I came here to pay them back. Bagua Prieta, Carranza, Coyo. To pay them back for Texas and Arizona and California. Some other time, huh, Pancho? 
And what do I find in the United States? A big, fat turkey. Maybe they're right when they say that he has nothing more than a cheap bandit. Oh, I go to laugh in Mexico when I come back with nothing to show. And even in my hometown, they will laugh at Villa. So where have I got to go? What'd you expect to bring back? The whole state of Texas? I don't know what. Yes, maybe Texas. Have you read this? That's me. What does it say? Later. Come on, let's go. Would you read it, please? March 9th, 1916, Columbus, New Mexico. World capitals will be shocked and amazed to learn that Pancho Villa, the bold, daring, colorful leader of the Mexican Revolution, has defied the might of the Colossus of the North. <laughs> I'm a living legend. The bold, the daring, the colorful leader of the Mexican Revolution, eh? We're not pulling out. What? You think I want my people to think that Pancho Villa run like a thief from the American army? A whole division? A division and army, what's the difference? The bigger the better. Pancho Villa fights the whole American army. That's big, Scotty. And they're going to love it in Chihuahua. <laughs> Listen, you lunatic, you kept us hanging around all day so you could get your revenge on Goyle. Now you want to get us all killed for some other crazy idea. Well, not me, amigo. I've had it. Scotty, don't go. You don't need me. I do. For what? To go along with me. Even when I am wrong. Take his name. Thompson. coming at us. There's an inspection going on, Lieutenant. But, sir, Via's train is on our track. That'll be all, Lieutenant. If we keep going, there's bound to be a crash. What is your name, Lieutenant? Lieutenant Yeager. Santa Rita, the track goes through a narrow pass. Now, if we were to block that pass and take up positions on the heights, and Wilcox's train would have to stop. Be like shooting fish in a barrel. No, we keep going. Why is the train going so slow? I'll go up front and find out. Look, Poncho, the Americans are headed this way, and there's only one track. They better get off that one track, because we're going straight ahead.
I could run faster than this train. Where's Luis? Go upstairs and find out what's happening. the window. Speed ahead. Colonel, we're all agreed. The place to stop them is the Santa Rita. We can block the pass and then place our men on both sides. Then when Villa stops, we can mow him down. Keep that boiler chock full. I want all the steam it'll hold. Colonel, we're on a single track. And Villa's coming straight at us. Let him come. But, Colonel, you're crazy. There's going to be a hell of a collision. He's right. He killed. Cold steel, gentlemen, at full gallop. That's what wins battles. More steam, Lieutenant. I want more steam. <laughs>
Jacks. General Pershing is coming down the hall. Black Jack Pershing himself, and to see you. Colonel Wilcox, I've got a Congressional Medal of Honor here for you from a grateful American people. Hell, Wilcox, I'm going to tell you what you really want to hear. Can you hear me, Wilcox? Good, good. I've got my marching orders, Wilcox, from the President of the United States himself. Hot pursuit of Villa into Mexico. Hunt the bandit down no matter how long it takes. Catch him and hang him. That's what I'm going to do, Wilcox. Catch him and hang him. That's a promise. Did you hear me, Wilcox? Good. think so. I'm sure. Why? Well, I'm a waiter now, Miss General, but I used to ride with Via. You did? Sit down. You know his habits? Oh, uh, like I know my own. Good, good, because it's not just a matter of chasing someone. If you know the man, then you know where to find him. Tell me, what's your name? Pancho. Tell me, Pancho, what are his vices? Ah, uh, I don't think he has any. He must have some weaknesses. No. Oh, he cannot read and he cannot write. It's like being blind. There be anything else, Miguel? No. Pancho, if you ever see Vila, Pancho, give him a message for me. Tell him every great man was once a bandit. Choice and 